All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to our playthrough here on Random Town. If this is your first time checking it out, I would invite you to go back to the first episode uh, and see the storyline unfold. We started off with randomly generated options, and here we are in year 36. We have about 20,000 food, about 150 tools and clothes. And we're doing well, it's balanced, things are going well, and I think we're going to go ahead and play this out. Oh, see, I hesitated, and now I missed out. Um, but we're going to go ahead and play this through year 50, uh, I've decided. Oh, okay, bean seeds. Well, let's take a look and see, do we have beans? We have barley, blueberries, rot, okay, no, no beans. So... Whoa, we had some old age there. Goodness, that hit us hard. Uh, but, yeah. There was a, a really insightful comment made on a previous video talking about, you know, how long are we going to go on this one? And Carrie, who is one of our longtime supporters, said, why don't you do one where you play to um, 1,000? population and I thought that sounded like a pretty fun idea so I think that might be our next challenge I don't know for sure but I'm thinking that might be the next challenge we do we might take a little time off though because this game can be I have a lot of other things I want to play as well is what I'm getting at but we'll go ahead and trade for these beans we don't need other seeds. I know some of you are more on the like efficiency kind of type. You're going to be like, well, why did you do that? Because you have plenty of seeds. You don't, you're not getting any reward from the food variety of adding beans. And you're right, I don't get any reward. But I like to do that from a little more of like a role play standpoint. I don't need the wealth for anything else. We're pretty stable. So it's fun to do that. Um, I think I started unlocking a few more of these. We'll go ahead and start working on this lower neighborhood here. Uh, I spent a little bit of time, so I was doing a recording, right? And then I got a phone call that I had to take, and instead of just saving that half, I decided to scrap it and start all over on this video. Uh, but one of the things that I was explaining, and I think it bears repeating, is so one of the features of this playthrough is we have these foresters over here. This one is a grape, and this one is quince, which if you don't know what that fruit is, uh, go look it up. It's mm -hmm. sort of like a pear. Um, but, oh no, I need food, but the person who works here, if you look at their, they're only getting, you know, like 150 quinces, that's, each one of these crates is about 50, so some of this stuff is not getting picked up, and we have almost 50 laborers, so what I'm going to do is mark these to be picked up, so that the laborers will come over and get those. And the grape ones look like this. So that way, you know, hopefully we're we're capitalizing on these resources and they're not spoiling. Also grab the linen there. Well, it's flax, it will become linen. Um yeah, so we have some interesting little production lines set up in this series. We have uh, iron over here being extracted from the mountain, being turned into, we have charcoal being made here. And together those things are, you know, the coal, iron, and the log are being made into steel tools. We have uh, hide coats with the leather and the linen. We're making the linen up here. Well, we were, I guess we're not anymore, but I purchased like 500 linen, so that was a, a little boost to things. Uh, we can take a look at the housing balance while I'm thinking about it. 
here it, at the town hall, you can see we have 73 families and 65 homes. Uh, we just got a 74th family. Uh, but that, if you're not sure why I'm fo focusing on this, uh, the idea is this right here. We want a nice slow growth. We don't want to have a spike in population because you built too many houses and they all had babies because that means later on you're going to see a decline. We want this nice long slow growth. This is one year. If you go back 25 years, you can see nice somewhat gradual growth. This, this happens because uh, more people have more children right but you don't want it to like skyrocket you want this nice gradual growth and then eventually you'll have a decline uh, let's see what they brought us cows we do not need longhorn cows we'll go ahead and say no thank you there I'm gonna clear out some of these trees in and around the housing uh, because we need logs we're low on logs get some of those get some of these we'll leave that batch maybe some of those we can thin out in through here that's probably pretty good so one of the reasons why I only do 50 years on this size map is because there's just not that many other places to go we can put a few more fields in here uh, this is already like a forest pod this we could put in a few more fields here I guess oh one thing I did want to do oh I put it in okay I did remember to put it in so this guy here is a forest barn this is maybe my first time ever even using this but in the description of it it says it's like anything you would have in a forest pod basically like the food that you get from the gatherer combined with the leather from the hunter it's just all the production is starting to to come from there now the question is <laughs> why are there dates there because the nearest date field is here uh, those should not be getting hauled across the map so it might indicate that we have a storage problem up here. Um, no, this barn is half full, so I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, we built this barn for the dock last time. And that's doing pretty well at 31%. And then we put in this RNG seafood farm which is getting us pearls to trade and then just some additional food types we don't really need them but nice to have them for this orchard we could do dates peaches blackberries or blueberries somebody's cold oh because I sold all that firewood yeah I probably should stop using firewood as a trade good we should get rid of that as a trade good Look at other products that we could potentially sell. Um, we have stone. A thousand stone is pretty good, especially when I've already built so many of our houses. I could probably trade some of that. The iron is at 800. I kind of like to keep that alone if I can. So like this fertilizer, I should be able to trade that. And because we're not using any uh, greenhouses we don't really need fertilizer in this playthrough so that'd be a good one to trade so let's go ahead and do that let's put in the inventory here let's say 400 fertilizer and at two each that's an 800 point value that's good now it won't replenish super fast but we'll take it See what these, what this trader is bringing us. Mm -hmm. Strong beer, shields, 
prefer glassware, steel tools, flowers, hide coats. Um, I don't know if that fur would be worth it just to, nah, I don't think so. I don't think we need any of this. Let's trade four pearls for eight kegs of beer. That's it. That's all we're going to go for this time. So what are you out of? Sand, probably. Because I stopped this guy. Alright. What are we looking like on glass? We have 28 glass. 45 glassware. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, we have 58 laborers, so maybe we go ahead and bring this back up. And you need... Charcoal? Maybe we need a second kiln. Oh, I bet it's all because I messed up the firewood thing. See, that's the, that's what this game is all about. This is a resource management game. And if you do what I just did there and you mismanage your resources, it becomes more challenging. One small mistake like that can throw things off for a while. But I like this little mini kind of colorful mine miner village here. I think that's a that's a cool idea that that actually worked out. I like how the the uh, marketplace is in the middle. Just just seems seems good to me. I think I'm gonna do something just to be fun. I am going to build a little brick road there. I'm going to basically make this like a yeah, little brick area around there. Just for fun. There's so much more I could do on detailing if I had that kind of brain. Some of the people I watch play this game, they're like, oh, let me go in here and build, you know, a stone wall along here. And I'm like, oh, I never even thought about that. Never even occurred to me. Could make it look like a retaining wall here, actually. Oh no, won't let me build there. Could do it here. Look at them cutting through there. It's pretty interesting. They know where they need to go, and they know the fastest way to get there. Okay, another item has arrived, another trader has arrived. There's a lot of that when you get to this point of the game, because it's just advancing time. Bisons. Did I end up adding them? I thought I was going to. Yeah, I did. We have seven. We're finally getting... Oh, that's where we're getting the fertilizer. Alright, that makes sense. And it's stabilizing our leather. Very good. Uh, I don't think we need any more of those. Thank you, though. That does remind me that we can add... Uh, mountain oysters to this. Alright, no building projects currently, 
We have 57 laborers. Tools are lagging a little bit, but not terrible. Um, I feel like I should put in a few more fields here. I'll do one there and one there. Is that all just disappearing? Hmm. Okay. I thought having workers here would be close enough, but maybe that's not accurate. Maybe I should put a few houses on the coast. Let's do... Maybe that works? I don't know. We'll find out. Out of chicken. Why are we out of chicken? Just used it all up, I guess. Uh, another chicken pen wouldn't be the end of the world. Hmm. Maybe I should have put that here. Or here. Hmm. I'm really tempted to try out the old-fashioned flatten tool now that we're a little further along in this playthrough. I don't like to use it to just straight up alter where we live and everything, but now that we're this far into it, it would be kind of neat. Okay, so they're not making wool coats because we've reached our limit. The tools... We are out... Okay, logs. So we need... We need to do another harvest thing here. We do not have enough trees. ones out. We don't really have a good reliable forester, I think. Is there one in here? No, but it's been my experience that the independent foresters are not super good. It's better to just cut down trees in an area and let the map fill them back in. Most of the time that works. Okay, red Frisians. We're, we're good. We already have Red Frisians up here. And I guess we're just drinking the milk. I don't recall putting in a dairy. Maybe we fit that in here. Although... That's within the market area. Maybe I could... Maybe I could fit it here. Seems like a good spot for a dairy. Um... We can do the old creamery or the red creamery. I think the old one is probably sufficient for this playthrough. Yeah, right there like that. Alright, we'll unlock that one. Oh yeah, we are building two other houses on the shore over here, so... We can let that be. Hmm. So like, oh, well, we already built that tunnel. I was going to say we could maybe try using the flatten tool to flatten some of this to extend out this farming community, but I think we'll be all right. This is not very efficient having this down here. 
but maybe maybe we remove this field put a market down here and like five houses just in this little area and then extend these fields so we have workers for these fields it feels like that could be a, a good plan See, is this guy bringing in any logs? Yeah, eight, six this year. 18 all of last year. Like, bro, you are not an efficient worker. 18 logs, 12 flowers, and 3 flax. Are you kidding me? Where does he live? That's his efficiency. Should live here. Yeah, so you walk to work like that, and then all you don't chop any trees down? Like, bro, all of these trees are in your area. Maybe he was planting a lot of saplings. I don't know. That drives me crazy. Okay, so oranges or bananas. I don't feel like either one of those really fits our playthrough here. We do have dates, which, you know, they don't really fit. But oranges or bananas. I don't think I bought either of those. Eh, I think I'm going to pass on the issue of continuity. Thematic continuity. Looks like we got the chicken situation stabilized again. Food is holding at 20,000. Tools are dropping. Tools are definitely and clearly dropping. So, what am I going to do? I think having them be steel tools was helpful. So are we, what's going on with the coal situation? We're pulling coal out. I see coal on the ground there. I don't see coal in here. This is full of stone and iron. I might have to switch these back to just, oh, there's some, eh, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll trust the process, but if this gets under 100, we're going to be, we probably should just have another blacksmith, this is the issue here, let's look, um, blacksmith, yeah, somewhere like here could work. Right there could work. Right beside the church. Tink, tink, tink. You can hear the pounding of the hammer while you worship. You put it right there. That'd be an odd place for it. That is a hill. Honestly, right here by the tavern. Probably makes the most sense we want oh there's no other skin for the blacksmith interesting kind of low low-key surprised as the kids say um, do we do another field there kind of feels like I should I'll extend the road to here I don't know what to do but that little spot maybe put some storage back here like a little root cellar All right, spin coming. Two churches, two schools. Got a creamery now. Go ahead and put two people in there. And berries, peaches, and cherries. Maybe we do yogurt. I don't usually do yogurt, but berries, peaches, and cherries. Berries. We have strawberries, but not just plain berries. If I pick that one, will it use strawberries? Berries. Actually, we also have raspberries and blackberries. And a blueberry orchard, I want to say. 
Let's try. Let's try. You know, we'll, we'll live a little. Let's live dangerously. Let's see how it does with that. And I think that gave me a reminder that I want to make this a blueberry orchard. Thinking about maybe putting a chicken pasture down here. Because we have enough workers here that we could have a few pastures. And they. That's really all they need is like storage and a few workers close by. They don't need much. I feel like that could be a good, a good decision. So we'll go ahead and hug those buildings. Now let's just put in the road for now. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt anything to rough it in. Like if I did a pasture that was... Something like this. Then another one. Boy, that's huge. Something like that. Then we can put a barn right there. Let's see what that looks like. All right, let's check on our I'm just going to do iron tools there because I'm not sure that the coal supply is stable enough for two guys making steel tools. Well, let's check on this. Berries. Let's go. We're making berry yogurt. So it just says generic, like the generic berry category. Can I sort by that? Yeah. So I guess blueberries just show up like that. They don't say blueberries, but blackberries have their own category. Strawberries have their own category, but blueberries just blueberries. Cool. So carrots are no longer our number one item. Tomatoes are barely eking them out. Potatoes, wheat, I mean, tomato, potato, carrot are all very, very close, which is fine. Wheat's not far behind. Rye's pretty close. A lot of meals. Corn's looking good. Pumpkins, barley, bread, strawberries. This is very good. This is all very good. We got plenty of mead, plenty of wine, mutton, bison, beef, leather for coats. We have a hundred flax we can turn into linen when we need to. We got a little bit of cotton in reserve. 46 wool, so we're making wool coats too. Dried mushrooms. Do I have a dry rack? I know we smoke the venison up here, but I don't know if I ever put in a drying rack. Do we have milk? Yeah. And the quints are ready to be gathered up again. Frisian cows. I do not need those. I have the red Frisians, thank you. Alright. Uh I'll do this one more time on here. But I do hope that these quinces are getting used, you know, picked up and, and utilized because I think it's such a cool feature in this mod pack and I and I really like when the cool cool features in a mod pack actually get used. Da -da 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 -dun -dun. Oh, I, I swear I can do a lot of this stuff all day long. 
little bit of firewood hanging out there. Already we are in the winter of 38, and I think that's going to call us to a close here on this particular episode. I appreciate everybody supporting the channel and watching the videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.